Hi everyone, welcome to Lepus Compass. Thank you for being here. Today we're going to do a reading for Aquarius for the second half of July. We're going to pull several messages and see what comes through, what you need to know, what's happening for you in that period of time. This is very current energies. So from now until the end of July, please do keep in mind that not every message will resonate with every Aquarius out there, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. So do stick around. We are starting today with the Soul Journey Lesson Cards, so let's see what's happening for Aquarius. What's going on? What's going on? This one right here, we have Worry. What else is here? Doubt. Interesting. And Health. Okay. Let's go ahead and start clarifying and get into it a little bit more just to find out what's going on. We're going to start with this worry energy. What is that about? For Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. Okay. All right, so what I feel here is that uh, some of you um, are worried and um, feel quite a little bit uh, of um, unsure how to move forward when it comes to your romantic love life. I do feel that it has something to do with your romantic connection here. For some of you, that has something to do with your ex. Somebody who left you, somebody who left you in the cold, somebody who could have stepped out on the relationship here, somebody who left you in this um, energy of uh, feeling like you can't move forward. It almost feels to me like you are uh, you are feeling stuck, like you're not sure how to move forward. You could have been dealing with an Aries. It doesn't have to be an Aries, but a very strong energy of an Aries here. I feel like this person could have been uh, very authoritative. I feel like this person could have held you kind of uh, captive almost here. Um, not literally, but uh, in a way that uh, um, they uh, made you feel like um, you can't move forward if, um, without them. This is the energy I'm getting here. I do feel that um, your worries, of course, I mean, being worried is uh, natural in this kind of situation, but it feels to me the message that you need to hear this time is that the worrying does not change the outcome. The fact that you worry about the situation is not going to bring up a different outcome for this. I do feel like uh, this person actually might want to um, re-enter your life. I do feel like this person might want to um, reconnect here, but um, I'm not sure if the offer that they're coming in with is going to be enough. That's the energy I'm getting here. It almost feels to me like there is this uh, breadcrumbing going on here. They want to keep you, they want to hold on to you, but they don't necessarily want to offer what you truly deserve. So be careful, be aware. Um, that's the energy that is coming through at this time. If they are coming back with an offer, make sure that that's uh, an offer that you are prepared to take and it's an offer that you deserve. Let's go ahead and clarify this doubt energy. What is that here for my Aquarius? What is that doubt about? What are you doubting here? Hmm? Okay, uh, I think a lot of you Aquariuses are now um, in the energy of uh, thinking about your romantic relationship. Something has happened here that broke your heart. I do feel that there is this energy here. These messages are very much connected, this worry and doubt here. I feel like um, something happened here that was very painful for you emotionally. And I do feel that you have quite a few doubts about this person that you've been dealing with. Like I said, they could be coming back here. They could be wanting to reconnect with you. Very, very strong energy of that fire sign here. Like I said, there could have been that Aries here. And uh, what, I, what you doubt in here is that you can feel independent and that you can feel yourself in this union. I feel like you're doubting that if you are deciding to uh, to uh, get into a commitment to this union, that you will have 
um, enough of level of independence in this union that you will uh, be able to make your own decisions that you will be like that this will be an equal partnership that I feel what the doubts you have here uh, another message that is coming through for a, a portion of you is that you're doubting that this person is going to be uh, faithful I do feel this very strongly for some of you you doubt this person and you might feel like um, they are keeping their options open and uh, honestly I don't believe that you trust this person to not keep their options open when uh, after they actually commit to you here so be aware it's a very interesting energy here it's a little bit of um, you know uh, difficult energy here that comes from this person here but uh, it's something for you to decide and think about Okay, let's go ahead and clarify this half. What is this about here for my Aquarius? What is that? What is that about? Make sure you get enough sleep at this time. I feel like uh, some of you could be going through this energy of um, feeling anxious and not necessarily sleeping well. Nice. Okay, 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 okay. I do feel that uh, your um, emotional life here is affecting your health. I do feel this very, very strongly because the first card that you got here is this five of cups. This is reminiscing. This is a, a looking at this three spilled cups, a relationship that didn't work out for you. And just being in this energy of uh, um, worrying, but also being in an energy of sadness. I do feel a lot of emotional pain from this card here. But what I love to see here for you is that it's ending. This energy is ending for you. I do feel this very, very strongly. I feel like you're putting an end to anything that is not emotionally fulfilling you anymore. And you're putting an end to this energy of sadness and reminiscing here. And that is also an advice for those of you who are not doing this at this time. Because look what's coming for you in the future. Once this ends, once you put an end to this, you're coming into a balance, a beautiful balanced energy. Temperance is here for you. You have this, uh, you're alchemizing your own energies here. You're alchemizing your peace and you are pretty in luck to yourself. Look at this. Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. As soon as you let go of this uh, reminiscing about this uh, things that didn't work out in your romantic love life, you turn around, you look what's behind you and what's behind you, these two beautiful cups. And look at this. You have two cups here that are equal, that fill each other that complete each other here in some way not that i think that there is a person out there that is not completed and needs to be completed by somebody else i don't feel that it works that way but i feel like you're just very much in balance with this new person that is coming in towards you and the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and you're moving forward with this chariot energy i feel like you're moving forward i feel like it's going to bring a lot of emotional balance for you i feel like you will be feeling much more stable uh, you will be much more in peace and it's going to um just a lot of emotional health and a lot of physical health that was going to come out from this balance and peaceful energy you are moving forward a lot of you are moving forward and i do feel that it's going to be beneficial in all ways for you and also it will positively affect your your health here the moving forward there could be um, a Sagittarius coming through uh, here for you. Very strong energy of Sagittarius. Two cards of Sagittarius here. Scorpio in Cancer is coming through as well. But I feel like there is just a mo very much emotionally charged situation here for you. So a lot of water energy, a lot of emotional energy here for you as well. This is what I see you guys dealing with. Okay, Aquarius, let's get this out of the way. Let's see what other messages we can get for you what else is happening in the second half of july we're going to use shadowscape tarot and let's find out i love the imagery on these cards knight of cups three of pentacles Empress, love it. Justice, yes. And King of Wands. Okay. I feel like you are showing this King of Wands of what justice is. 
if you are dealing with some uh, fire sign here i feel like you're finally showing them who you truly are you're showing them how you need to be treated and if they ca can come in transformed and fair energy you might you know you might accept them here but that's the only way you will um there could be a new person that is coming towards you i do feel that there could be a, um Another person coming towards you, a new person coming with some sort of offer of love. You could know this person through your work. They could be, you could be working together with this person or it's just there is some connection with work or your colleagues here. Maybe your colleague is introducing this person to you. I do feel that energy for some of you. But I feel like uh, um, you getting attention from somebody else is kind of reminding you that you are an empress. And it doesn't have to be gender specific, but Empress is somebody who's very attractive, who has a lot to offer and who does not take um, less from what he or she deserves. And that's your energy. You have so much to offer. You have a lot of love. You have abundance. You have everything going for you. And I do feel like you're attracting a lot of attention. I feel like this situation and you being so attractive and self-confident here, it also kind of rattles this uh, King of Wands energy, this um, fire energy, this possible person that you've been dealing with for this you know what we've seen in the previous cards here again doesn't have to be gender specific but i feel that with this justice like i said you're showing them how you need to be treated and if they can come in that energy if they can treat you um, as an empress that you truly are that you might consider to bring them in but only on the fair terms only on the equal terms and I feel like there is justice being served here. This person seeing that there is other people showing attention to you and this person realizing who you truly are, that's also be a justice here. I do feel that too. Again, take the genders out of the cards. It's not gender specific at all. Okay, let's go ahead and pull some lights here as tarot. Let's see what's going on. of swords nice i like that justice coming out again oh yeah okay beautiful whoa wow okay mic drop uh, aquarius first of all this uh, period of time for you the second half of july it's uh, very much emotionally charged uh, time for you and it's time for you to address your romantic love life. I do feel this very strongly. I feel like this is going to be in your, on your mind. And this is, I feel like this is the time that you will be thinking about your love life. It's all about your love. This is what I see. And look what's going on here. Six of Swords, moving to a common shores. What are you moving towards to? You're moving towards fairness. You're moving towards just. You're moving towards fair for you. Three of Swords, you have been hurt you have been hurt there is heartbreak here there is definitely an energy of emotional pain here and hey, look what's happening the death is coming to towards that it's the end is the end of you going through this heartbreak why because you decided to move to the common shores and you decided to take what's just for you and to go for what's fair for you and look at this you have an ending of this you have a death of that and it comes with a rebirth and a beautiful amazing divine connection in the future like i said I've, we've seen this energy for you before and it's coming here again once you put an end to something that's hurting you to something that is not treating you well something that is not treating you fair something that is not treating you as an um, energy of that empress like i said doesn't have to be gender specific that's once you put an end to it that's when you bring in the divine connection into your life two of cups divine con connection a union that is so much in unison look at this this is two people coming together this is two people building their future beautiful colorful abundant future together nice okay all right well let's move this out of the way let's go ahead and pull some animal and plan oracle cards for you and let's see what comes through for this uh, second half of july messages 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 for aquarius wow okay 
the cost jumped out. We have the Koi energy. There is a lot of uh, abundance that is coming in for you. And I feel like there is just a lot of um, good feeling about your future. Um, optimism. A lot of optimism about being uh, grateful for what you have right now. But also being very much optimistic that there are better times coming in for you. And more abundant times coming in for you. There is some, uh, also an energy of luck here. There is some good luck that is coming for you as well. We'll clarify a little bit later, but that's the energy of the card that is coming through right away. We have grip coming in. Look at this, equality and balance. I do feel like you're coming into a balanced relationship. And for a lot of you, this will be a love relationship. For those of you who've gone through some difficult times in your romantic love life and went through some sort of relationship when the other person was pulling all the strings and... Um, taking over or control in some way where you didn't feel recognized and seen. I see you coming into a new romantic love connection when it's a beautiful union of two equal souls. And we have B. We have uh, work, um, hard work, networking, um, bringing new people into your um work network, um, possibly um, um, spending much more time with your team. This could be also some team activities. I see that you could be uh, having some outings with your team. If you work in a team, if you work in, you know, in a some sort of office environment and uh, there is a group of people of you working together, I do see you spending a lot of time outside work with that, those people as well. There is some good cooperations and there are some new connections being built here. I feel like for a lot of you, this is connected to your work. But let's clarify. Let's see what comes through. We're going to start with this Koi energy. What is this about? Okay, I feel like um, you are, um, you've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for this abundance to come in for you. You've been waiting for this better times to come in for you. And I feel like um, there is some competition around you. There could be something going on around you. There could be a very competitive environment that you work in. But you're not going to make any, you're not going to take any foolish risks. I feel like you're not going to take any foolish risks. What you're going to do at this time to bring this abundance for yourself and to bring those better times for you is to focus on your craft. Focus on your craft uh, stay working, like I said, not necessarily taking risks at this time, especially risks that might lead to some sort of conflict. You're not going to do that. You're going to stay focused on what you do. I feel like you're very much talented at what you do. You have a lot of skills in the job that you do. And I feel like uh, by staying determined and staying grateful for what you have at this time and not necessarily looking for something different at this point, I feel like that's what's going to bring the better times and more abundance in your financial sector. Stay determined. Stay determined. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify this curve energy here for you. High Priestess. Wow. Okay. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, you are uh, moving to the Kama Shores. You're moving away from something. You could be moving away from a relationship where the, the secrets, where the person wasn't open up to you emotionally, where the person was hiding things from you, maybe even doing something behind your back here. You're moving away. This is it. Six of Swords. You're moving to the Kama Shores. I feel like a lot of you could be moving to a new connection, like we've seen this for you. Again, Sagittarius is coming in strongly, but what's important is that balance, that balance. You see balance in this card here, equality, and again, you have a balance here that pouring into each other's cup, making sure that um, 
every person in this connection is being seen, being heard and recognized. I feel like it's going to be a slow burner. I feel like you're going to take your time. I feel like the person that is moving towards you is going to take their time to build up this balance, to build up a solid foundation. This person is very grounded and I feel like they have very solid intentions for a long-term beautiful union with you. This is what I see. Okay, and last but not least, let's clarify this B card. What is that about? What is this B card here for? What is it? This one. You no know, one's in reverse. Three of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. What I feel here, the message that goes through right away when this card came out here, that for some of you, the, um, if you are working in a team, you're working in a, like you're not working on your own, you actually have a team, you have a boss here. I feel like uh, uh, the, uh, the, your boss or your manager or your supervisor, whoever is in charge here, could be leaving at this time. And I feel like you've been waiting for your ships to come in when you can take on this role, this managerial role to get this promotion. I feel that that's what you're coming in here when... Ten of Pentacles, financial abundance, prosperity, very uh, an increase, a huge increase in your finances here. And for some of you, like I said, there is changes in your team. There is changes in your team here. There could be somebody leaving. Um, somebody in authority could be leaving here. And that's when your ships are coming in here for you. And you are taking on this role. You are becoming in charge of this team. You are becoming the one to build this team. And this is when it becomes more important, even more important for you to spend more time with your team. To, you know, maybe even take some out, uh, do some outside events. Some events outside of workplace to build up your team here. And now you're building this team around you. You are in charge. You are the manager here. You are the supervisor. Whatever it is. That's the message that is coming through very, very, very strongly for you and it's going to lead to ten of pentacles financial abundance and people will be listening to you i feel like you have a lot of wisdom you have a lot of experience to share with others in this team and there will be some good cooperation here i feel like you will reach some good new results that possibly you were not able to reach in this team before so it could be some problems that you will be solving and you will be solving them together here and I feel like it's going to be very much financially prosperous for everybody involved in this situation. This is what I see. These are the messages that are coming through for you today, Aquarius. Interesting. A lot of uh, um, love messages and some work messages as well. So different things are happening for you, but good things are happening. I do hope you found something in this reading that was helpful to you, that resonated with you. And thank you for being here today. If you feel comfortable sharing your story, please comment on the reading. Thank you for being here. Bye for now.